In virtually any Italian neighborhood, you'll find the gentle gaze of St. Padre Pio, his image on prayer cards and statues. At the famed Borgatti Ravioli in Belmont, owner Chris Borgatti says the saint's image serves as a reminder. How we can be too in life uh, with our fellow neighbor and, and, and share that charity. Now, to mark 50 years since his death, relics of St. Pio are in New York for veneration at St. Patrick's Cathedral. The sponsor says this cloak and this glove come from a private collection in Italy and are rarely seen in public. A collection who has never traveled in the United States of America and actually a tour of the relics has never been organized before. Sunday and Monday, thousands of faithful are expected to pray before the relics. Monsignor Robert Ritchie says being in the presence of objects that belong to saints helps make a special connection. The understanding of his holiness and his uh, connection, uh, spiritual and mystical connection with God and uh, making the person realize that there's more to life than just the, the everyday. Pio was a Franciscan friar who was said to bear the stigmata on his hands, the wounds of the crucified Christ. For a time, the church was suspicious and even banned him from preaching. But his following grew and so did faith in him as a holy man. 300,000 people were there when Pope St. John Paul canonized Pio in 2002. Years later, devotion to St. Pio is as strong as ever as a visit to Arthur Avenue will prove. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The Archdiocese will display the relics Sunday and Monday at the Cathedral on Fifth Avenue. The Cardinal's Mass at 1015 Sunday will also feature special music from the visiting choir of the Sistine Chapel, known as the Personal Choir of the Pope.